Hey, what's up everyone? Ben here and am still working on this Mevo Multicam Go app and in playing around with a couple of, of features that we're able to now do that we weren't able to do before. And one of those in my previous video talked about being able to bring in an HDMI camera and capturing that into the Mevo Multicam app. Uh, questions came up is, as far as the delay. How long is the delay? Is it going to be too much of a distraction? And so I recorded a video side by side, uh, Mevo start camera and my HDMI camera uh, focused in on me at the same time. And you can see a delay. Um, and so I recorded a video for you to see the side by side. You can see the audio delay between the two. Um, and so what does this mean for us? Uh, so I recorded the video, then I also recorded a separate audio clip that I uploaded into a tool I found online that allows you to measure uh, frame the delay between the, the when the audio, like if you're doing a clap test, and, and it, it's able to determine how many frames uh, it comes out to. So I will show you all of that after I show you this video that I recorded uh, doing that side-by-side -side view and sound test. All right, uh, just doing a little bit of experimenting to determine a couple of things. Um, I posted this video uh, regarding bringing an HDMI camera into the Mevo Multicam app um, through a couple of workarounds that we found. So. Uh, so I'm experimenting with that a little bit because the, the concern that someone asked about was what's the delay, how is that going to be overcome? And the short answer to that is yes, there's a delay and I don't know is there currently is a way to, to overcome that. The, the delay is just there as, as a result of the way that, that we have to work this around. So uh, quickly, the process that I have to bring this HDMI camera into my Mevo Multicam uh, production is using this HDMI camera, it goes out into a capture card. This capture card converts that to USB, which um, is then brought into uh, this Galaxy tablet that I have, and it has a USB camera app. And so uh, it brings in that that that's video source and, and and able to utilize that within the multicam app through the Mevo Go app that they've just uh, put out into beta. So that's that's kind of the quick and dirty of of getting that brought into the stream. However, obviously there's a little bit of delay because of all of the processes that has to work through. So uh, what I wanted to do is is kind of demonstrate the, the, the delay. I personally don't see it as uh, a significant delay. It appears to be about a half second, but uh, I found a tool online that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a couple of tests and some, let that analyze it. And it should tell me how many frames of delay it is. So, but I want you to see it firsthand. I'm gonna do um, a picture in picture uh, overlay here. So, uh, this picture in picture right here is this HDMI camera that's brought in. And so, um, so I'm gonna do a couple of things to kind of demonstrate the, the delay here. So I'm gonna set my iPad down. And I have to kind of watch it to make sure I'm in frame here for you. All right, now the audio source is my iPad that's now sitting over here. And, and so I'm going to try it this way. Hopefully you're picking up my, my voice okay as I'm doing this, but I'm going to do a couple of clap tests. Here we go. All right. Um, I will kind of do it again here for you. I'll just kind of maybe slap the side of my leg so you can kind of see the delay. And you can kind of see it there just in my motion. Um, not even doing an audio test yet, just, just the delay in motion between the two. But we'll go ahead and try that again. Here it goes. Now, 
Yeah, and as near as I can tell from what I'm seeing here in the previews and things like that, appears to be about a half second delay. All right, so I'm gonna cut this recording here and then pick up with you here in just a second. All right, so you can see that there are some delays there and I don't find it significant. And I think maybe some of that depends on uh, how you're utilizing this, this feature. So uh, I'm imagining if you are live streaming a sports event, football, basketball, any of those type of things where your audio, it does not necessarily have to match perfectly with what, what the viewer is watching. I can see that this would work fantastic. However, if you are, um, focused in on somebody speaking, um, and you're able to, to see, you know, their mouth clearly, and you, then you're able to see that the audio is out of sync and I can see where that could be problematic. So, um, so I, I I think depending on on your use case is where this can be problematic. So let me show you. Um, I found a tool online that I was able to record a, a quick audio video clip that uh, was a clap test and and it measured from where the audio starts to where the clap finishes. And so let me show you that here. Um, there you go. And so, so there you can see that, um, you know, there in this, in this upper picture over here, uh, you'll see in that pink area where the clap first starts, that green area is where, um, where the, the clap actually finishes. And so according to this calculator, it's about 300 milliseconds or nine frames. Okay. Uh, that's helpful in some software like um, OBS or Ecamm or things like that. But if you're using the Mevo Multicam app, what does that mean? You know, what are you having to deal with? Because you can't compensate for uh, for this audio video delay issue. And so uh, this other screenshot, uh, 300 milliseconds is a third of a second. And then if you look down there, that's roughly the amount of time it takes to blink the human eye. So uh, take that for, for what it's worth, I guess. Um, I think it still brings uh, an incredible feature into something that we've needed, uh, allows you to bring a different type of camera to capture uh, a, a portion of your live stream or video recording that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Uh, now we have access to to cameras that um, that are able to zoom in a lot farther without losing uh, some of the some of the issues with with using that um, using that type of camera or using Mevo Start trying to capture uh, zoomed in and we're limited by capabilities of course so um, so yeah there hopefully that maybe kind of clears it up for you. And the other part of this that I don't know is, um, does this depend on your network capability? So, uh, this is on my home Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know if this would be, uh, affected by, you know, you're in the field and you're relying on cellular, whether it's a hotspot or on your phone or, or a dedicated device that, uh, that provides your data connection. So, would be something else to consider in that scenario as well. Uh, but I see this in, in a lot of the use cases that, that I'm currently using, which is sports, which is um, like band concerts and things like that. I can see where that might be a little problematic. You know, if you have your conductor doing his whatever, and you can see that that might be a little off from what you're hearing. I could see how that might be distracting. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe this will be something that that will improve over time. Um, maybe this can be something that that Mevo can introduce into their software. Um, I feel like we are asking a lot out of uh, this this software in these cameras at the price point that we're at. And so I'm just thrilled that this is a feature that, that we're able to utilize on some level. Um, but I, again, I don't know if this would be something that, that, uh, that Mevo is able to work out on their end to introduce uh, some delay 
for audio and things like that. So hope that's hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, we're we're excited about what Mevo's doing. We're excited about some of the features that are coming. Um, looking forward to further updates. And yeah, keep streaming, keep recording, and appreciate you watching. Thanks.